17-year-old Kekel Avila is spending her summer working as a lifeguard at one of New York City's busy YMCA pools. It's pretty remarkable since just two years ago, she couldn't swim. It's like you kind of watch it on TV and you kind of know you got to move yeah. your arms. <laughs> Kay Kell is a graduate of a special phys ed class. Move them around. At New York City's Grover Cleveland High School. <laughs> where students learning how to swim. 30. Also trained to become lifeguards. With a show of hands, how many of you knew how to swim before starting this program? Nobody. No. None of you are swimmers. 70% of students here come from families that are economically disadvantaged. Meaning they're far more likely, according to USA Swimming, to have no or low swimming ability, putting them at risk for drowning. The skills they learn in this class could save their own lives too. Lifeguard certification is also a pathway to a well-paying summer job, up to $800 per week at city pools or beaches. I'm going to put in some of my college funds. And like recently, Puerto Rico had a hurricane, and my grandmother and my family over there, they're really struggling with money. So I w I'm going to like send money over there. But swim coach Chris Sullivan says it's about much more than just the money. It's amazing. The, the, the change in them, it's, it, it just makes me feel so like gratified to see a kid become a young adult. Since it started 13 years ago, the class has produced more than 325 lifeguards. The school quote for swimming is never satisfied, and that's something that all the swimmers go by. Life-saving lessons paying off in and out of the pool. Morgan Radford, NBC News, Queens, New York. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.